Good evening, Springfield. Kent Brockman chasing local imbecile Homer Simpson and his delinquent son, Bart, who have picked a fight with an out-of-control donut mascot statue. Bart Simpson, are you and your father insane? Hi, lady, I'm on TV. I just said your name on TV. Don't tell Carl unless he sees this, in which case, hi, Carl, don't tell any I said your name. <laughs> Anyways, gotta go. Believe in yourself, boy! Even if I don't! Just another roving horde of bloodthirsty mini clowns! Ah! Here they come again! Calm myself down, I'll just get you the naked! Lard Lad's about to break out his stomping foot! The scenario begs but one question. What lays inside that ass hat? Oh, that's real original. Homer's been dropped like a sack of lumpy mashed potatoes. Please! Homer, kill Krusty! <laughs> the laser is making the billboard ads foods become real! This story's gonna get me a local Emmy for sure! Comes the laser. Bart's been knocked down. Hopefully, he can take a page from the book of Chumbawamba and get back up again. When Lard Lad charges up his laser, he does so with solar panels implanted in his bow tie. Fascinating.
patch emerges. <laughs> Lard Lad's body is a wonderland. In my hands. I'm a self-hating clown. Ew! Bugs dressed like clowns. Little Krusty will give you a little death. Giant fat donut sign aided by tiny billboard clowns. <laughs> it's a classic comedy pairing. Deep down, I feel there's something disturbing about evolution. Lots of thousand mini crusty. You'll have to stop a bunch. I'm too drunk. It's a beautiful day for a laser attack. You know who I like? Those kids from the high school musical. Down goes Homer and within the hopes of a nation. Excuse me. I had enchiladas for lunch. You wouldn't want to be in this booth right now. If I'm not mistaken, we're in for a real treat. Lard Lad's about to destroy our town with a laser. Look out, Homer! He's gonna blow! Who's number one? We're number one, that's right. Oh, Homer, try to show a little dignity in victory. <laughs> Eat fist, Lard Crunch. Shad Spot, how could Lard Lad lose to that guy? Don't yell at Lard Lad when you really want to yell at me. I screwed this whole thing up. You're right, I do blame you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, big man! Oh. Beam me up, Scotty! It's the mothership. This must be the level boss for this part of the game. The boss! Quick, everyone look busy. <laughs> Guys, look, the hatch opens after every four laser bursts. That's the weak spot when we need to fire. Hey, Kodos, that ugly kid's right. Why are we exposing our weak spot after every four laser bursts? You're right. Why do we even need to expose our weak spot at all? Thanks for the heads up, Earth dumbass. Screw fighting one family. Why don't we just blow up the whole town? They can't stop us from doing that. Sounds good to space me. Something. These space octopuses are gonna get jiggy all over Springfield. Did I use jiggy right? Sorry, the cheat guy doesn't have any more upgrades. Wait, I know another way we can cheat. The internet. Of course, the internet. That's where I cheat for school. Cheating. Is there anything it can't do? Check it out. They have a walkthrough for a game called The Simpsons Game. Bartman, eating contest, alien invasion, slaughtering dolphins. It's describing everything we've done all day. But what does it say we have to do next? Nothing, I hope. Well, it says that we need to find... Move it! I want to play solitaire. We're in the game engine. If our life is a video game, this is the factory where it was made. That's ridiculous. I'm not a video game character. I'm a real life person with dreams and feelings. <laughs> ah! All right, fine, I'm a video game guy. Now, can I ask a question? If this is a video game, where do we put the quarters? <gasps> oh my god, it's a nerd. That's right, the nerdiest nerd in the computer verse. <laughs> Dad, that's Will Wright, designer of Sim City and The Sims. Don't forget my biggest flop, Sim Sandwich. Its failure drove me mad. Mad! That's why I live here now, finding a home for old games nobody plays anymore.
Video games are about what's new, and the old is better off forgotten. Any of these fellows look familiar? Wow, we look so pixely. And poorly rendered. Which one is supposed to be me? Don't destroy them. They may be obsolete, but they're still alive. Help! It's crazy! If he destroys us, we'll never escape from Krusty Island. I'm March. You can't do this! Of course I can. I'm Will Wright, bitch. And pretty soon, when there's a new Better Simpsons video game than the one you're from, I'll destroy you too. <laughs> Stop him, Homer! Nerd! We've got to save the 8-Bit Simpsons. They remind us of a simpler time. Nice design. Your padding AI is pathetic. Tag in. Way to use your pea brain, Homer. Hey, you're both supposed to be dumb. Get back in character. Why haven't you put me on the show? You had the Baja Men on. Oh yeah? Just because you create God games doesn't mean you can play God. Just didn't work. Way to solve the thingy. Worship me. I am a nearsighted God. Behold my incredible beauty. Anything without Sim in its name is stupid, e except sport. Jerks at EA. They hate me, you know. They're all jealous of me. Jealous, I told you. Wow, this is like those places where people used to see movies before video piracy was invented. Oh, oh. Hey, thanks for helping us save our 8-bit selves. I had to do so many double jumps, I'm really tired. Do you like donuts too? Sure do. Do you want one? Um. Pixely. You're all right, old weird version of me. Attention, Smooth Simpsons. We've been around this complex for a long time and bring a warning. Cowabunga. One day, your video game, too, will be obsolete. No way. The Simpsons game is awesome. Just because every video game up until now has been destroyed and forgotten doesn't mean ours will be. Bart, she's right. I mean, I'm right. We're both right. No video game is safe from an industry that's always chasing the hot new thing. Sure, the Simpsons game is great with its unique upgradable character abilities and its hilarious self-referential cutscenes. But what about when the Xbox 720 comes out or the PlayStation 4? No one will want to play us then. Damn this godforsaken place. Video game making nerds are getting rich and all I can do is die and die and die and die. Each death more painful than the last. <laughs> but what can we do? We're just highly rendered pixels in a universe we can't control. Even as we speak, Springfield is being destroyed by a hackneyed alien invasion premise. Oh, somehow it's not a cliche when it's happening to you. Yeah, we don't even know who's but to kick. There is one place you can go. The mansion of the creator. 
He created all of these worlds. Maybe he can end this pointless cycle of destruction. The creator, eh? I'm gonna triple combo punch his fat, nerdy face. Karate! Don't have a cow, man. You still say that, right? I hope so. The only way to get through the gate is to go into each of the new Simpsons games being developed by the creator. Once you're inside each game, you need to find a key card. Only the four key cards will combine to open the gate. Key cards? That is the lamest video game BS I've ever heard. Why aren't we doing something cool, like collecting multicolored shard keys? That would be totally different and awesome! Cowabunga! Well, let's get to it, video gang. Let's go give this creator a piece of our minds. And save Springfield! is neat, but it could use a woman's touch. Marge is in charge! Hmm, high resolution in Housewives rule! These Everyone better be careful! Housewives rule! You meanie! How can I... Ouch! How many lives do we have left? Go! Lisa, smart book girl, poetry environment, Lisa. So lonely. Underachiever and proud of it. <laughs> oh my, you're, you're no longer terrible. What's about to happen? Nothing quite. Oh, now for some learning. Hooray. Yeah, this place 
reeks of nerd. Oh, so sorry. Now for a tutor. I'm the tutor, and you are the two T. I miss my lucky red hat. <laughs> Alright, that's enough practice. Just stop it. Now let's see you apply your new your credits to obsessive nerds everywhere. Hey, good looking. I can't think of a better. Listen up, youngsters. We have received intelligence that the Krauts are due to invade the beloved French township of Ville de saint Capitulons. I don't need to tell you that this town provides the snails that feed the entire French resistance. If saint Capitulons falls, the resistance will be so hungry for snails, they'll turn around and fight for the bad guys. Oh, I've seen it happen before. You will parachute out of a UB-40 red wine flying fortress over saint Capitulons, where you'll have to locate me and Private First Class Burns for further instructions. Now, good luck. You boys are my favorite privates, and you know how much I love my privates. My privates mean everything to me. Please, God, don't let anything happen to my privates. I can't look. I'm scared of heights. Tell me when we're about to land. Look now. Ah! <laughs> Oui, monsieur. May I have another? Ah! Oh, look at me. I'm French. I'm a scared girl. I don't like being bombed and attacked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, knock it off. We're here to protect these cheese-eating surrender monkeys. That means taking down these white flags before they have a chance to kiss German butt. Yes, yes Sergeant Simpson. Simpson. You know, Sarge, while your time-traveling son and grandson take down the flags, we could remove the priceless paintings from the village before the Germans get here. You know, for safekeeping. You look and sound so evil. But since you're American, I know that's not possible. We'll get the paintings. You two take care of the flags. What war is this? Don't they teach you anything in school? It's the Civil War, duh. Let's go secure those paintings. Oh, I'll secure them all the way to the Swiss bank. I mean, golly, that sounds like a keen idea, Daddy-o. I was kicked out of man school because I didn't know, apparently, you can't talk. I mean, what's that all about? Who is this brush cutting? Marie Antoinette may have been a spoiled brat, but you cannot argue with her position on cake. the most exquisite toiling. Everyone else is up to the morning bells. What's Frère Jacques' problem? <laughs> Do all of our words have to be either like ah! If you feel shame, drink more wine. Oh. 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 We'll always have Paris. 
to surrender. I remember my first surrender. It was with an older girl from school. We surrendered over and over until I got it right. <laughs> Make sure your flag is white, not off-white or eggshell or green. This is a pretty boring freak flag. In France's long history of great lovers, none is greater or more celebrated than Pepe Le Pew. These burn as well as the American flag. We're surrendering our country, not our style. Try to look your best. A woman can surrender just as well as a man. I see a two rag in my future. Surrender yet.
I sure stocked up on flags. in my future. Another cliche. Am I supposed to be impressed? My flag now. Ah! 
Hot damn if you didn't stop those surrender monkeys from surrendering. I was sure you were both gonna be shipped home in pine boxes. I was already making up nice things to say about you. But now you're off to Africa. Private Burns has secured some priceless French paintings of high-class naked bazooms. We're taking the paintings to a secure storage depot outside Jabba El Hut, Algeria. I'll be riding shotgun with Burns personally on this one. I suspect we'll need the help as the canyons near Jabba are heavily fortified by the enemy. I know what you're thinking. This sounds like an escort mission. Well, deal with it! We found another cliché. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> Africa. Well, this sort of thing happens to me all the time when I'm drunk. It's just to pretend everything's fine. Jet exploding barrels are so 2006. Come home, then they'll be... Priceless paintings and make sure no one makes a fortune selling them on the black market. I know it's hard to take orders from a man half your age, but that's just how things work out. The demons are so Ha ha! requesting permission to abandon our mission. Permission denied, Private. We have to believe in ourselves to win. As Sun Tzu said in the Art of War, every battle is won before it is ever fought. Great, we won! Congratulations, everyone. See you back in America. Get a hold of yourself, Burns. An attitude like that, you'll never get anywhere. <laughs> the new gun is coming into view post-haste. <laughs> It'll take more than sauerkraut to fix that gun. I hope that gun didn't have a family. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lydia. Maybe I won't have that vasectomy. Your treasures are safe. Now I can sell them and buy a really nice car. I, I mean, put them in a museum. Listen up, my beloved privates. We had a traitor in our midst. Private Burns has nicked all the French paintings with all those luscious naked sweater melons. So listen up. Burns has moved the paintings to his own private aircraft carrier, the USS Real Crazy. He has the damn thing heavily guarded by his own private cadre of muscular sailors. These men fight for neither God nor country. They fight for love. I'll be leading a sortie of hellfish warplanes and we'll be providing heat from the air. You'll need to stow yourselves aboard the ship at dock. Once out to sea, disable the ship's defenses while we attack from above. Homer, you'll be on demolition duty, and you'll have just enough C4 explosives to complete your objectives. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? You're never gonna run out of explosives. If you ran out, you'd never finish the damn thing. Any more questions? I don't care, over and out. Now you have to kiss me! Eat that, you treacherous double-crossing Nancy boy! That's weird! Grandma seems to have disappeared! You know what's even weirder? Ice and tipping in a restaurant is considered an insult! for to play with. Starbucks at a boat this big, but no. Blame on.
successfully planted, I still have all four fingers in tow. Watch that. Mustache tickles. As mayor of this village, I would like to thank you, brave American soldiers. You hid our cowardice and brought back the pride of our village, our paintings. That's 
here's some wine. The other kids are doing it. Sorry, boy. You're an American kid. You have to get your booze from an older creep hanging around outside the liquor store. God bless America. I feel the sudden urge to sit on my ass and hit buttons. How many lives do we have left? This is so painful! 